Брифинг штабу информативного обороны с Киева. So the situation in Kyiv is complicated. We see shellings of neighboring towns and cities and of the main roads. We will tell you more about this. Let us also first deliver general news. The evacuation from Mariupol has been disrupted again today. The Russians started regrouping their forces and there have been massive shellings of the city. It was dangerous to evacuate people under such circumstances. And in Mariupol itself, during the shellings, an 18-month-old baby died. As a result of a counter-attack um, in the city, Ukrainian troops managed to exterminate 30 occupiers, three enemy tanks, four BMPs, two Tigers, and two Russians were captured. In Vinnytsia, eight missiles completely demolished the building of the airport. From under the remains of the building, um, four persons were saved. One of them died. Uh, based, on, based on the previous data, the missiles were launched from Transnistria. The enemy is trying to seize the city of Izum in the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian soldiers are protecting the city and that's why our enemy um, has refrained to their malicious practice of shelling residential areas. Uh, in Kharkiv, Russian troops shelled the National Scientific Center of the Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Techno Technology where a nuclear unit is located. There are 500 occupiers at the nuclear power plant in Energodar, around 1,000 of them in the city. Uh, in Chernihiv, the battles are waged around the city and some in the region. In Sume, there have been warnings of the threat of street fighting. The occupiers are getting ready to shell Odessa. Since the beginning of invasion of the Russian Federation in Ukraine, 38 children have died. In Kherson, the occupiers have been trying to disseminate humanitarian aid amongst the population and in the hospital, but the local residents refuse their help. Our volunteer centers keep working in Kharkiv. The delivery of produce and medicine has been arranged to the hospitals and to the checkpoints. In Kirovograd, Poltava and Rivna region, the volunteers are helping to place the people that are fleeing the war. Volunteers from the western regions of Ukraine uh, have arranged for the delivery of charitable assistance from abroad, namely Charitable Foundation Humanity and Warsaw Medical University um, have supplied Ukraine with medicine, 500,000 zloty worth, which amounts to 3.5 million hryvnia. This delivery has been arranged by the European Solidarity Hub in Ivano-Frankivsk. The medicine will be um, distributed among the hospitals in Kyiv, Lviv, and Ivano-Frankivsk. Poland is also ready to pick up wounded Ukrainians and to provide them with treatment free of charge. The situation is extremely complicated in the Kyiv region. 206 battalion and territorial defense in Irpin keep evacuating the civilians from Irpin. Today, um, under the shellings, uh, uh, around 1,000 people uh, were evacuated. Uh, the representatives of the battalion say that the occupiers intentionally arranged mortar shellings um, and targeted people during the evacuation. Two civilians were wounded. Um, severely wounded was also the representative of the territorial defense, but despite all of this, uh, the evacu evacuation will go on. The 
battles are being waged in Bucha and in Hostomel. Nonetheless, Ukrainians keep proving that their spirit cannot be broken. They keep taking to the streets in the temporarily occupied cities. Today we have seen protests against the occupiers in Bergansk, Melitopol, Troitske, Starobilsk, Henichysk, Kalanchak, Novakachovka. And also Crimean Tatars and Ukrainians have taken to the streets in Novoleksivka and Chonhar in the Kherson region. In Kherson, in an attempt to disperse the meeting, uh, the protest against the occupiers, one person was hurt. Ukrainians are returning from abroad in order to protect their motherland. Since the beginning of the military invasion of Russia, around 140 43 southern Ukrainians returned home, 80% of them are men.